Hello, my name is Maria Kunjilska and this is Poland Daily Culture, the best cultural show in English in Poland. And we have a fabulous artist here with us in the studio, straight from Italy, Ruzha Puznowska. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. And of course you're Polish, but uh, you seem to have a very international life because of uh, your husband, but also you, uh, your art piece of art and working in this, this kind of way. But talking about um, your education, uh, you've, uh, you've touched, I would say, a lot of different school arts because uh, you studied first in England and then secondly in New York and then later on back in Poland. So tell us a little bit about uh, what's also the differences in approach and how was th at the beginning your studies in England? Why did you decide for England at the beginning the first time? And what, what did it bring to you? Well, um, to be honest, I started in Poland. I started at um, Warsaw Academy of Fine Arts. Um, but after first year, we had this opportunity to do Erasmus exchange. So I chose England, which was kind of closer to my heart and closer to, I would say, Polish attitude towards life. It was great. It was Cornwall. It was totally different than Warsaw because it's quiet. You have the sound of the sea. It's gloomy. It's raining. People are very close. So it gave me a different impact. And then after Academy, I, um, I finished with the Master of Arts and I went for an independent course for um, independent artists in New York, which was an amazing location because it was just close to Guggenheim, uh, next to Fifth Avenue. So it was a totally different story. Cornwall and New York, I mean, oh, I love New York. If I could live anywhere, it would be, I guess, New York or Sydney, Australia. I love this big city, I love the energy, I love the possibilities that it gives you and a lot of people with different energy. But on the other hand, so demanding financially. Oh yes, yes, uh, it's, it's really crazy. Especially for an artist to like live on your own art uh, with so much competition as well after all every artist from the whole world. Yeah, everyone to... goes there with their dreams and exactly. wants to become somebody. But I think you need to change the way you think when you go into places like this to get the most of it for yourself. So it has to inspire you instead of pushing you down and saying, oh yeah, but you don't have money. How can you do this? How can you do that? I mean, not everybody has money there. Everybody is trying to figure out what to do. I think we can find similar souls and help each other. And this is what happened with me. I, um, I started to sell my works to friends like normally starts right um, and then yeah, people saw it you know now we have Instagram so people saw that somebody is opening something uh, of mine and they said oh my god all these emotions and everything that is around the painting I want that so I think the goal is to find people that are close to your energy level and close to your point of view point on life I guess and when it comes to Academy in mm. New York what, what was the difference for example in the way of teaching between uh, Poland and uh, their uh, school of art there I would say that abroad they especially England and um, America they invite you to look into different um, different um, categories of art and different genres like if you're a painter hey, don't just paint, start sculpting, start ceramic, graphic making or video. And then look if this brings you something or gives you something new, another dimension to your art, to your painting, because if you want to stay with this, stay with that. But this is great because if you have a different tool, you can incorporate it into your main genre. Yeah. Okay, so were you a little bit forced, for example, to take sculpture? Uh, not forced, but sort of like invited forcefully, <laughs> 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 like easily. Now they, they introduced this um, to us. I did some sculpt sculpting, uh, I did some video, but this is not my, it's not my um, favorite thing to do. So you stayed with painting? I stayed with painting, but it showed me that I can treat my paintings three-dimensionally. So that's why also we have 
that sort of art now that you can also put on the table or somewhere else that it's it's not a part part of the wall it goes out from it maybe soon there will be something else i'm working on it <laughs> so, and we'll put a point here and of course uh, it is an invitation for all of you to look for different sources of art and different um, ways of inspiring and especially through a different uh, education in many other places as here we have an example of education in England, in New York, Poland, all of this expires and extends our horizons and definitely what I hope make Polish art more popular abroad. And again, thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.